for getting this award tonight? It's very exciting. First of all, it's a living history award, and I'm very happy to be in the living end of that. But um, secondly, this is a very important institution, Plymouth Plantation. It has known from the beginning that America was not just the English people who showed up, but the people who were living here when they got here, and has always commemorated and celebrated both cultures. So, now you're of course also, um, a, you, you're also in addition to being a journalist, you're also a writer and an author, and you've written a lot about women's history, and this has got to be a very interesting time for that subject with the Me Too movement really catching on the way it has. Well, the Me Too movement would have never been possible in most of American history. Uh, men didn't listen to women at all. Certainly those guys who came on the Mayflower didn't listen to women. But um, the uh, fact that it is now a very meaningful uh, movement and a time in our history is very important for women of America. I also wanted to uh, kind of get your thoughts quickly, if you could, and kind of what we, we got the midterms coming up. What, what are your thoughts on what we could see here? Do you think the Democrats will take both houses or one house, or do you think the Republicans are going to hold? What do you think? There's no way of knowing right now. We're, we're, I know it sounds ridiculous because it's almost October, but we're still too far out. Um, I don't personally see a blue wave, but it might happen. The Senate's a much tougher nut. Uh, anything else you'd like to add about tonight and this honor that you're going to be receiving? It's really terrific to be here in this very special place. Um, one of the places where people from Europe first step foot in America. And uh, it is important that people understand what a special place is, and that's what tonight is about.